Hi and welcome to this video in the QPSMR Insight Up and Running series and in this video we're going to look at piping values and text through to other questions or as checks for questions. So what I mean by that is that there are equations when you want to ask a question and then use the answer of that question as part of the text for the next question. Maybe an example will make that a little bit more clear. So let's first of all insert a question. Question one, we're going to choose single here, and I'm going to ask, what is your favourite brand? And the responses I'm going to put in here are brand A, brand B, brand C, brand D. So I'm going to have four brands. All right, so that's a fairly simple question. Now, the next question, I want to ask people why that particular brand is their favorite brand. So let's insert another question. Question two, I'm gonna make it multiple, multiple coding. Why is, and what I can do in square brackets, I can put Q1, so it will pull through dynamically whatever answer is given at question one. So why is Q1 your favorite brand? And we could have responses here of value, quality, easy to find, So we can have five answers there as their reason for choosing the best brand. And that will pull through the answer at question one. We can do a similar thing with integers. And we'll see all these playing out in a minute. So let's have an integer now. Change that to an integer. Question three. How many loaves of bread do you buy each just going to count that as a, a two-digit number and we can pull that through as well on another question so we could have question four you said you use you buy q3 loaves of bread a week did you used to buy less bread and we could have the question responses as being more the same and less so that will pull through the number of loaves of bread that they chose well let's see those both in action before we move on let's do some test data entry and we can see that so we can just test a paper questionnaire so if i pick answer uh, C here, either with my mouse or by typing a three, you can see at the top the question two is why is brand C your favorite brand? And I could pick those answers. How many loaves of bread do you do you buy per week or each week? I'm going to say five. And now you have the thing coming up saying next question. You said you buy five loaves of bread per week. Did you used to buy more or less bread? The same. And we can try another record now if we choose B brand B will appear in the text for question two and if we choose ten loaves ten will appear in the text for question four so that looks as though it's working so that's one way of using that particular tool for uh, displaying uh, text from a previous question now the other time that you might use it is for checking data. So let's say we ask people what percentage of their time they work, what percentage of their time they're at leisure, and what type percentage of their time they spend at sleep. And let's assume for the sake of argument that should add to 100%, and we just want to check that. So let's enter three questions. 
I'm going to call it Q5A, make it an integer. What percentage of your time do you spend working? And we'll make that a three digit number. We could check the range here, by the way, as being 0 to 100. OK. We could obviously copy this entry now and just paste it back and make it oops, question 5b and just edit that as a leisure as well here, so at leisure and we could just copy and paste that entry and paste that back make it Q5C and we'll put that as sleeping all right so we've got our three questions in there now we might want to check that adds, that adds to 100% and if it doesn't we might want to put a message up so that it can be corrected and so on. So the way we do that would be to insert a variable and we'll call that Q5 tot. It's still an integer and we might say that's Q5a plus Q5b plus Q5c. Sum of Q5a to c. All right, so that's that set up for us. And now I'm going to put in a filter which I'm going to call Q5 check. I'm going to check this box here, hold input if true. So I want to hold the input if it's not a hundred here. So I'm going to insert Q5 atop not 100. And the text here is error Q5 adds to, and I'm going to put in brackets here, Q5 tot. And we could actually put the answers out here as well. So we display all the values so that someone can quickly see what's wrong with that. OK, let's save that back into data entry. Go through our first couple of questions. So percentages, we're going to put in 50, 30 and 20. And it goes through without a problem. And now let's make a mistake or not have it not add to 100%. Okay, so now I'm going to say 40, 30, 20, and you can see now that it's come up with a message saying Q5 check error, Q5 adds to 90, work 40, leisure 30, sleep 20, which means that we can either ignore that warning or we can say no and go back and correct this one here, make it 50, and off we go again, and it should now clear through and we got to the end of the data entry. So that's another type of thing that you can do by pulling values through and displaying the values. So it's easy for someone to question that or recheck that. So that completes this short video on piping values and text through from different questions into a current question. I hope that's helpful. And of course, there's more videos in this QPSMR Insight up and running series. Mm -hmm.